Dear Madonna, I often thought about if I would ever get to meet face to face the woman who inspired my life, the very person who unknowingly taught me how to grow up and unapologetically learn how to find my voice. Ultimately, getting to meet Madonna was my dream. To somehow thank her for all the ways in which she changed the course of my life. And then that day became my reality. It was late 1980s and my Madonna impersonator work had turned into a full-time job for me. Hustling kids parties on the weekend and performing with the Pepsi Cola touring group allowed me to be constantly performing and refining my act. I had signed a contract with an acting agency and was still auditioning for acting work as I was working as Madonna. At that time, Madonna was getting ready to embark on her world tour, Who's That Girl? It was the buzz all around Hollywood that Madonna would hold auditions for dancers for her tour. I knew I had to somehow be at that audition and that this could be my way to meet my idol face to face. I did some research to find out names of tour directors and who was already set in place for her tour. I had reached out to her choreographer at the time, Jeffrey Hornaday. I asked Jeffrey if Madonna would use a stand-in for this tour. Michael Jackson used to hire all his impersonators when he would tour to help with lighting, staging, and set certain elements in his live shows. Jeffrey said he wasn't sure, but he suggested for me to come to the audition and audition as a dancer. And so um, we went to Debbie Reynolds Dance Studio. Um, there were so many dancers in that room. There were just lines of dancers. I think it was an open call from my memory. Um, and so we were, we were taught a pattern from a choreographer. And so I learned the dance and then I don't remember, I know Jeffrey was there, but I can't remember exactly who was actually watching and judging that audition, but um, I made it past that first, first audition. And so the second part of that was to be uh, later that afternoon and they were gonna actually bring in Madonna for that second half. And I hadn't met her face to face at that point. Um, I had just finished the True Blue contest. So she saw my video as Madonna, but who knows if she ever made a connection that was me at the audition. Um, so I asked Jeffrey if he had any advice and he said, cover your hair because I had short platinum hair at the time and it was too Madonna-ish. So um, a girlfriend, Lisa Kellogg, gave me one of her hats. She said, just hide your hair. And so I um, hit it and um, great dancers were in that callback. I remember Lisa Kellogg and Marvin, some of the street dancers. And um, so a couple hours later, they gave us each a number and um, just said, wait for your number to be called and come out and freestyle for Madonna. And so um, here she comes into the room and she's just glowing, effervescent, gorgeous woman. And um, no makeup, just, casual and so she sits behind this big table with Jeffrey and some other directors and then everything just became like a blurry dream because I don't even know what happened um I heard my number everybody's looking at me because all my girlfriends and all my friends knew that you know I was an impersonator they called my number and I just remember locking eyes with Madonna and just making sure she was watching me because she didn't watch everybody so she was watching me and I was like, hell, what is happening here? So freestyle, dancing, probably going into some really jazz, kickball change, corny choreography. And, um, and so then I'm spinning and I'm doing a little Shanae and all of a sudden my hat flies off and then everybody in the room is like, oh. and then I put it back on my head and I looked at Madonna and I said, I'll dye my hair. If you pick me, I'll dye my hair. And I'm, I guess she didn't hear me because she looked at Jeffrey. She goes, what did she say? And who knows, whatever. So at that, after that audition, um, I believe it was the conversation where she was talking about um, a street dancer looking for the best street dancer in LA. Marvin had said to Madonna, that's Shabadoo. So that's how that thing came about. Marvin was absolutely right that Shabadoo was the best street dancer in LA. Aldolfo Quiones, a.k.a. Shabadoo, would not only become one of the three dancers on Madonna's tour, Shabadoo would be hired to work as the choreographer for the show. Shabadoo was somebody I deeply admired. I worked with him on the film Breaking Two and even had the honor of performing Vogue with him for show producer Jeff Kutosh. 
Shabiru and I would become friends for many years following, and we're even talking about future projects together. Okay, cool. So we'll work together on this and, and get the audition word out there and get some some kid dancers. And uh, I'll tell you all the well, we're we're writing the treatment. So when the treatment is ready, you and I put our heads together about uh, the casting. I got to go up and talk to her after the audition and uh, shake her hand. And um, she had my Madonna headshot in her hand. And I was like, I thank you so much for allowing me to be here. And if you do use a stand-in for anything, I would love to be considered for that. And she said, thank you very much. Super cool. And um, it was a really pleasant experience getting to meet her face to face after all the years of just dressing up and admiring her and just wanting so bad to say thank you to her because I owe her so much for, for everything that she's done for my life and all the doors she's opened for me. And I am always grateful to Madonna just for always helping me grow up, really just helping me find my way in life and in my work and teaching me how to be a boss and really not settling for small, for really going for what's in my heart and really going after my dreams. I don't know if there was not a Madonna I would be the person I am today. So I'm so grateful to Madonna. She continues, you know, 40 years later, she continues to just show me how to be in the world and how to be as a woman and how to be as an aging woman. So thank you to Madonna always. And I'll never forget that day of meeting her and I sure hope it's not the last time I get to meet her.